Behind me is the Zante Imprezia Digital Multimedia Press. It offers low cost per print, 2400 resolution, and speeds of up to 78 per minute on a number 10 envelope. The configuration you see behind me, this is the full size production model. It includes the enterprise feeder, the output conveyor, and of course the stand that you see it uh, sitting on here. Now we do offer another configuration that includes a shorter enterprise SL feeder, and that includes optional features like the output conveyor, the stand, and our third feature is just the standalone model, which is just the engine that you see here. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is exactly where to find all of your consumables. The number to remember here is 11. 11 consumables in all within the machine. So at the top here are CMYK toners. Below the toners we have our transfer belt. Below the transfer belt we have our photoconducting units or more commonly referred to as imaging drones. Close this portion back. Below tray one pretty much exclusive to your letter size A4 size media and beside tray one we have our waste toner bottle and then of course below tray one we have tray two now this tray more of your universal tray can handle up to 11 by 17 inch media as well as other standard, standard and custom sizes now this brings us to our paper path this is where we'll clear any jams this is also how we access our last consumable to show is the fuser. So it slides in and out like so. Close it back. We do have a bypass tray that is installed right here above the exposed bypass. And that is what the feeder is actually sliding up to. Sliding it into place and actually tightening that little hand screw here to, to keep it in place while we run. The first thing we need to do is adjust and position our back guide into place. We have a centered offset ruler, so I'm simply going to put this to the width of my media. In this case, we're running a number 10 envelope, so I'm going to put it at nine and a half. And I'm simply going to tighten this, this guide down so that it's in place. Next, I'm going to insert my media, like so. Keeping it knocked against the back guide here. I'm going to leave the guide closest to me on the operator side. I'm going to leave it pretty loose for now. And if you'll notice, my, my flap is up and actually facing the machine right now. That's how we want to load in order to print on the front side of the envelope. So once I get them in place, beside the on-off switch here, I am just going to hold down the, the media advance button. And the envelopes are going to cascade and and you're going to get this tiling effect. That's exactly what we want in order to load the media. And then once I have it distributed like so, I'm going to adjust the guide closest to me, bringing it in and backing it off ever so slightly. Tighten it down. Now I'm going to jump over to IQ. I have a job queued up to print, and I'm going to send it over to our Imprezia. And the output that you're going to see here is going to be that, that, that optimum output of 78 per minute on the number 10 envelope. 